All right, it is now that time for Mainland Projects. Here to level up your hunting property. And uh, I just wanted to start the video as showing some stuff we did during the winter. This is some hinge cutting cover improvements that we are doing. So before, this is just freestanding trees in here. It was kind of overrun. There was nothing at deer level. Um, and so we worked on making these pockets of, of bedding and thickets. So one, it brings some browse to the ground, gives some horizontal screen cover, and it gives deer and other wildlife something to, to tuck into, get away, have a spot to bed. And this looks awesome in here. This, I mean, it's hard to get through here. I mean, it's just the impenetrable wall for me, but this is epic for deer to hide up in, maybe even have, you know, when they're fawning, this would be great habitat, even just to protect. And uh, I'm excited to see how this turns out here as we go into uh, the green up and go back to life. But this is epic in here. We did a few of these along here, and I think it's gonna pay out big. Um, I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on this display This is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are fester One of the land projects we're working on here in the month of May is um, we've done some frost seeding of clover and stuff in some existing food plots that were just pretty bare dirt. Um, as we're going through May and soils are warming up, um, I'm also coming in and overseeding clover and maybe some oats or rye into some of these plots. Like this one example, for example, is a clover plot in here. This one we've started through the process of frost seeding and now um, we're continuing to work on improving that clover plot. I'm adding in a little bit of seed. We got a lot of clover coming up already and then we're gonna end up spraying it as other competition starts coming up here in the month of May. So basically we're taking the time to really get these, these plots established and rocking it and rolling throughout the year. As we are going through the month of May, um, knowing some details about some specific spots we have out here to bow hunt and gun hunt, um, we are also going to improve the water sources we have and make them really easy um, for deer, deer to use. Um, one thing, you can see the river behind me. It's kind of flooded right now. It's going down pretty quick. But that river, come fall, is typically really low. Um, so one, it creates these steep cut banks. And so actually deer getting to that water is somewhat difficult. So there is some spots they can, but it's really isolated and it's almost impossible to get to some of those locations. So in our hunting setups, we're going to improve some of the, the water features there as well. And like actually have like a water hole that a deer can stop and drink at. Um, and these are gonna be close to spots we can get up and get a bow shot at these spots. So in here, for instance, we have this like little grass runway that cuts through here. This is 
insanely good sign in here come like October or November and the bucks use it really heavily and so the other feature we have here is that the river bend and the cut bank is not far here so we're going to actually improve this here so we can set up next to the river with our scent blowing down river and we'll have this little runway here in front of us and we're going to put a water hole right in here as a spot they're going to come out of some thick bedding that direction where they consistently bed and they're going to come through and they'll have an easy water source in here as they go out to other food sources now we're gonna try just a little mini water hole but um the other things we've done is actually taking a bobcat digging out some spots and uh improving a natural water hole um, and that's worked well too um and once you start getting rains they start filling up and getting better established and we usually try to focus those areas on already existing wet spots on the properties so the water hole feature where you're actually putting the tub in the ground you're not necessarily gonna have to worry about it being a actual wet spot so we're gonna put it exactly where we want and um, as part of that we're going to situate it where we actually think we're gonna be setting up this fall so water holes now for May projects, another really good thing to get a jump on and take advantage of the early May is getting trees planted. Um, this is actually a tree we planted, would have been like the first couple days of May. Um, that's a couple of years ago already. They struggle. They're starting to bounce back. We've had some serious droughts um, where we're at. These can be done in the fall too, but a great time is to take advantage of the wet soils and the thawed ground the end of April, early part of May into middle of May to get your trees in the ground. So Time is of the essence. Get in on your tree planting now. And um, grass is pretty soft right now, so this is a good time. Another thing we're doing here in the month of May, we're hanging up a few trail cameras again. We're actually at a location that's going to probably be another water hole location. Um, we've been running a mock scrape in this area we're right smack dab in between two bedding areas. And this is a spot we always see deer uh, frequent in the spring. And I like to keep tabs on like how healthy the deer are and what bucks have made it and what's happening. Just a great month to get back out there, get a couple cameras running and just get some intel. And that should also help you here this fall. Another thing we're doing is um, this is our chance to really start working on any new food plot locations, clearing areas up, and expanding food plots out. So this is a new food plot location. We've kind of trimmed out a lot of the brush already. We're gonna come in and um, we're gonna probably cut this down even more on some of the brush that's in here. And then as things start greening up here in the month of May, we're going to actually hit this and spray this and kill everything off, including the trees, shrubs in here. Um, for the first couple years, we're gonna be rough and cut with this little uh, kill plot is, uh, we'll leave all those little stumps and stuff in there and, and not worry about that too much. And, um, you know, we're terminating all of those, so that's the plan is to kill those off and just let those deteriorate right in the plot. And if any sprouts come up, it's natural woody sprouts that the deer will eat anyway. So it'll work out having that here in this plot. 
and uh, you know, so the month of May, clearing, cutting, spraying, and uh, we'll probably try to get a, a crop in here. Um, probably right at the end of May, and uh, get that going. Try to get some greens in here, and then we'll probably come back and kill that this fall and plant our fall food in here. So, take advantage of this month to clear out new food plot locations and or expanding out your food plots and getting that ready. And then that leads us into um, planting as well. So, you know, mid to end of May, uh, May we're going to be uh, getting in our grain crops and getting those things planted here. So soybeans or corn and uh, get those rolling. We've already gotten the jump on our clover. Now we're going to make sure we get our, our, uh, our late winter grain type food sources in the ground so they have enough time to grow and mature by fall. Um, you can get away with doing them later in May. That's really not a big deal. Um, for our part in West Central Minnesota, we we still have some warmer temps going into uh, later summer, early fall. So if your corn is maturing or your soybeans are maturing later, it's not necessarily a bad thing. We just don't want to overdo it and push it too far and then it um, doesn't get a good uh, production of of grain on there because then you're just wasting it but so that's what we're doing basically busy this entire month it's going to be wild again as we talk about getting our corn and soybean plots in this month planting trees early in the month it's also a good time to uh, plant any of your grasses as well. So if you're doing any screening grasses like switchgrass, this is the time to do so and uh, really try to kill off those areas now before you plant. So get out there this month. This is a busy month. It's a great month to get a ton of stuff done that's going to help you this fall so if you have any questions reach out but we'll see you on the land thank you for watching and uh